After playing with the camera and realizing when a bait falls down, it's pulling fish from that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner. That every one of that community is aware that there's something in their backyard. It would be, it's, I always say it's like a UFO landing in our backyard. Then all the neighbors are gonna come out, but they only have seven minute memory, so they're gonna keep coming out. But they apparently only have memories in seven, seven minutes where humans will get, oh, it's just a blimp, or they'll get over it. But uh, they're, uh, oh no, they're so aware of it, so I figure if I can get, now it's falling, I got everyone's attention, now I have to keep it. That's the only way I feel like it works for me, like I gotta keep their attention now, and if I don't, don't work it right, they're gonna swim away, and now I'm bored, so I, I always pretend that I'm doing the right thing. And now I just gotta get them to bite. Keeps me in it, and then when you get a bite, then it's it. I only need a bite a day to pretend I can get 20. So most of you guys pay about, what, 25, 30 bucks for a HUD. I'm not gonna lose my HUDs. So to make it super easy, I just tied a lure retriever to a buoy. Usually, I'll just throw it overboard, but it's a little bit more hassle picking it up. But uh, keep, it keeps all the line there. Oops. on top of it, just to, uh, if I can get, if I can learn how to drive a boat. I screwed it all up now because I can't. Hold that thought. <laughs> Ooh. I can feel the line wrap that guy. There we go. Voila! 30 bucks saved. <laughs> and I, any lure retriever works. Most of them all have these rings. I just bend the rings out a little bit so that they fit over the head of the HUD. Most of them are a little tighter for crankbaits. But this is like a, a cheapy, you know, you got it at Tackle Warehouse. It's a hound dog, I believe. So yeah, 25 bucks saved and we'll do that all day long too. And that's what we were stuck on. Oh, what a treat. Look at that, see a lure retriever? You get your bait back and you get a free Lucky Craft. <laughs> common questions I get or complaints I get about throwing swim baits is, gosh, I really would throw swim baits, I really want to throw swim baits, but I can't, it's too hard, it's too taxing, my shoulders can't handle it. That was one thing, growing up throwing swim baits and, and obviously fishing through lots of injuries too, uh, the most important thing was castability. A swim bait rod isn't that difficult to design, but the castability part was, was crucial to me. And all of my eye rods that I design are, are to really eject the bait. If you have a, a rod that's too slow or just it's not enough power behind it, you'll find yourself casting and rolling your shoulder, having to push it, and you're pushing it, and that's where you're gonna start to feel it in your shoulder at the end of the day, and you hear people complaining. I can literally fish this rod for 20 days straight. I won't feel it. Uh, you, can, you can see here, if you look down, you, our rods are very quick. They're very springy, and they, 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 load, they load up nice, and they got a nice slow load, but they're very quick in the tip which allows the rod to really eject the bait with little effort. So I, I always like to leave about 18 inches off the tip that allows me to get a little swing and let the rods do it all for you. I, that is as far as you will ever need to cast and you saw how little effort I put into it. The rod does it for you, save your body for later. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to get into swim bait fishing, go check out an iRod swim bait rod. We make them in four different models for six inch baits all the way up to the giant, huge 12, 13 inch baits. Um, we've got you covered. Check them out if you want to try some swim bait rods. All again, all available on the Tackle Warehouse. I get a lot of questions on why I use this reel when I'm fishing a HUD. This is the, uh, the, the Shimano Cardiff. It's not an ultra expensive reel, but there's, there's several reasons why I keep using this one when I'm fishing HUDs. A, it's super light. It's actually probably made of a cheaper material, but it's super light, which I enjoy, especially when you put it on a, on a light, large swim like this. And B, it's got a really slow gear ratio, so I don't overdo it. 
Uh, I still take about six seconds, five, five, six seconds to do a handle turn, which sounds really crazy slow, but if you, uh, if you measure it, one handle turn is actually 18 inches. So you can imagine a bait moving 18 inches, five seconds isn't that slow. Or, yeah, five seconds. So check these reels out. They are available at Tackle Warehouse, of course. They're, they won't break your wallet, and they're super comfy to fish all day. Then you check them out. Oh, there's one. Ah. And what a perfect way to end the night. Just going in, I had to make another cast. Chatterbait pulls one out. That was cool. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned some stuff from our little tips and tricks. We'll be back next week covering a lot of other swim baits, so please stay tuned. And don't forget, everything you saw here, including all of the iRods, are available at Tackle Warehouse. Now get out of here. It's the same one as yesterday. Five pound braid, and I can throw it a mile, and I, I still won't. I won't get near the end. Near the end. Another bait that played a role for me. Uh, this is a vibrating jig, chatterbait style deal. I got a uh, Berkeley.